ngā tōu o te ao, the ngā tōu collective. The ngā tōu research collective will be speaking to two challenge projects from within the Tangaroa program of research, and the collective includes representatives from Manaki Te Awanui, from Tauranga Moana, Ngā Taki Collective from Te Hiku, and unfortunately not able to be here at the conference, Pā Kiri Kiri Wānanga from Tokomaru Bay. Their work has been looking at the reclamation of teachings and practices of runanga, processes and mechanisms that have enabled reclamation of maramataka theory and practice. Nō reira ngā tōu o te ao, kai a koutou te wā, tēnā utaina mai ki ronga i te atamira wakapā o atu wai, ngā tini kaupapa kai ronga i a koutou. Nō reira, homai te paki paki. Kane Taiapa, Kekone Hoki Que, Aaron Cole, Kekone Toni Que, Karangakia, Aaron Cole, Haramai, Haramai. We are not at the airport. <laughs> this is last call. Rion Tuanai, Kia ora. Thank you. Who's Aaron? Aaron, I see you. Kate Kitao Yakui. Arara tau ana maku manu kite paki kite pai uru nga o tohe he kei hote titiro ki nga keke to nga roa tu nga rimu o ta nga roa tu nga rimu o tai marama mai te mauri nuku marama mai te mauri rangi e ka topa taku mene manu kite hirunga i nga u o te moana Pau pau a ki o tā whiwhi, ki raro poa te kōkota roa, ki ranga tau a ngā ngā ngara nui o tai whānake. Marama mai te mauri nuku, marama mai te mauri rangi e. He ka heke taku rere ki te pā kiri kiri ki te. Ka rere ko te wai o tū, ka rere ko te manga hauwini. He marangai nui, he marangai roa, he wai tu hi, he wai tu ke. Horo nuku horo rangi horo ana ko te rau o te aroha tau ana. Tēnā tātou. Tēnei au e tu ana ki te mihi, ka mihi ki te kaupapa. Ko whakakotahi nei i a tātou i runga i te kaupapa o te rā. Tēnā koe, ka mihi hoki ki ngā kai kōrero o nanahi o tēnei rā o a pōpō. Tēnei te au mihi ki a koutou. Ki te tini, ki te mano kua whakaraui ka i raro i te tuanui o te whare. Tēnei au e mihi kauana ki a koutou. Hoi anō ka huri Taku mihi ki tōku whānau, e noho noho nei, te whānau o ngā tohu, te kanohi kitea o ngā tohu, ka tuku hoki taku mihi ki te whānau, te kiri kai ahi e noho tonu ana, e te aki pai, te ahi kāro i te kāinga, kai ngā taki, kai toko maru hoki, tēnei ka tuku ko te mihi ki a rātau, ki a koutou. My name is Vayaria and I have the privilege and honour to um, share some kōrero about our Ngā Tohu project. Um, we have, well, before I start, I want to just um, briefly talk to some of the kupu that were in the Waiata. Now, this, this little Waiata has a little bit of story so when I sat down to kind of put together this presentation, 
um, as we do, we turn, open our computer and we start typing, and nothing came out except for a rangi and some kupu. And so I started writing this, and that's what this um, pātere was what I was given at the time. And I don't know if I've done it justice, but I'm glad that I've done it because one of our kaumātua from Ngātaki was adamant that it be shared today. And so maybe we actually do it choicely at another time, like... Um, and our, yes, yes. So, but um, yes, for Matua Wayne Pietara, I'm glad to say that we were able <laughs> to do it a hakoata nerves. Um, so the Pātere kind of speaks to the project and where it has been grounded. Um, we have had the privilege and honour as a research team to work with the whānau from Ngātaki, Ngāti Hiku, Ngāti Kuri, Tauranga Moana, who um, are present with us today, and also whānau of Pākirikiri Wānanga, Tokomaru Bay, who unfortunately are not with us, and Katsuku ko te whakaaro nui ki a rātou, ki te taiwha, uh, taira whiti whānui hoki. Um, yeah, so it kind of speaks to all of the places and the kaupapa that they have been developing in their place. Um, marama mai te mauri nuku, marama mai te mauri rangi is the title that we've given our presentation and this has been drawn out and gifted also to us by one of our kaumātua from Ngātaki and it speaks to an un deepening and understanding of mauri from the earth and mauri from the sky. And when I say understanding, not just an intellectual understanding, I think um, Pelika spoke to it beautifully this morning and that understanding is not just an intellectual pursuit, it's imbuing the whole being in knowing. So um, that's what we have um, titled our presentation and that's what we are going to talk about today. Um, I feel like these fellas need to introduce themselves first. Oh, okay. Maybe. Briefly. <laughs> you want me to start? Yes. Tēnā tātā e te whānau, ko Kelly Rapa, nā tō kui ngā huri a hauna ngā tūri, ku mare tō me te arawa. Tēnā tātā e ko Gaston Smith, tō kui ngā, mō tāpiti ai. Kore kohua hau, uh, i roto i tēnei kaupapa kai te tahi o ngā uh, kai hāpai i ngā mātauranga tuku iho uh, o uh, Ngāti Kuri o te tai toke rau. Kia ora. Uh, Kā ti kia ora tātou, ko Rion 210 tōku ingoa, <laughs> uh, nō tauranga moana, tauranga tangata. Kia ora. Uh, kia ora nō tātou, uh, ko kain taiapa tōku ingoa, he kukotou nō tauranga moana. And kia ora, I'm Aaron Cole, um, and I guess my extended family is Ngāti Raukawa from Otaki area. Kia ora whānau. So, nei noa te kanohi ki tea, a nei ki we hoki wetahi o ngā kanohi kei te kainga tonu. So we have been working with whānau up in Ngātaki, Matua Wayne Pietara, um, Kiri Ann Pietara, Yani Ferens, and Tracy Ash, Ashby. Um, Kati um, Kamimahi. We've got another slide because our rupu is peaky para. Um, yep, tauranga mona kei kone koto and oh yep, tima kairanga ho. So um, we have a mix of many different practitioners, taio practitioners within our bunch, and um, I cannot reflect how. Um, Amazing it's been to work with all of these people in these different spaces. So like Komato ki te, te maringa nui, te honore, kia noho tahi, kia wānanga tahi, me e nei o ngā whānau. Um, so today, ngā tohu. Ngā tohu is made up of two uh, sustainable seas projects. Um, ngā tohu o te ao looking at reclamation of maramataka knowledge and practice to inform 
uh, cultural indicator development. And uh, the other project is, well, we've kind of renamed it. So it was Te Tahuhu Matatau. We've kind of renamed it and given it the Te Pātaka. So these two, and the Pātaka looks, about, looks at um, preserving the knowledge that has been collected. So we have worked these two projects together with all of the whānau and all of the case study areas to um, understand how we reclaim the knowledge and practice. And then once we've got this knowledge and once we're doing this stuff, how do we then preserve it? Um, and so I will be speaking to the reclamation process that we have been working on with our Fano, and Kelly will share some of the preservation mechanisms that we have been working with. And then also we have one of our whanaunga from Tauranga Moana who will speak to their localised project in Tauranga Moana. Um, I know we've done this. Okay, so we um, like to keep, keep it very simple. Our framework is made up of three core components and Te Rere Kohu kind of briefly spoke to them. We also work alongside um, the Whakaika project. While Atua looking at the spaces that the work is grounded in, while Tupuna looking at the knowledge systems from our Tupuna that have been developed through these Atua spaces, and while Tangata looking at the practices that these spaces enable us as Tangata to enjoy and live within. So we will speak to those three um, poses of our framework and share some of the examples that have kind of emerged from this framework. So reclamation of knowledge. So while well, Atua and all of these three components don't work staggeredly, kupu ho, um, they work together. So wānanga, wānanga taiao to huraki taiao, getting out into our Atua and understanding as researchers and as case study groups, those spaces. Um, so we have, um, as all the projects who have um, shared quoted or shared story today? You can't know Taiyao unless you have been out into Taiyao. So um, this is one of the the main po and the mahi that we do. Um, Takahia te whenua, ruku hia te wai. Okay. Um, while tūpuna, the tūpuna ancestral knowledge. So our uh, mahi has been around reclaiming maramataka knowledge and practice. And when I say maramataka, um, there, it's not, so it's all about the marama, but it's not about the marama. There is so much around maramataka that sits within that one kind of system. And so we spent a lot of, lot of time with, with each of our case study groups, um, delving into the tūpuna knowledge that sat within their communities. And we spent hours and hours looking at the kupu, um, drawing out meaning from the kupu, and we're so privileged and lucky that we had uh, Te Reo Māori Pūkenga Mātanga to support us in that space, Te Rere Kohu Tū Te Rangifu, who could actually understand the kupu and be able to break it down with us and sew it back together so that we, with our contemporary mindsets, could understand it. Understanding the the words and the unlocking the the depth of corridor around natural processes and natural systems that they that those kupu hold for us. So we spent um, yes a number of hours kind of working with understanding that depth of tupuna knowledge around maramataka. Pardon? Oh, sorry. Also, because we have two projects, we've got 30 minutes. So if you think it's getting a bit long, we've weaved them both together. We've made the most of it, OK? <laughs> so when you're going, wind it up, it's 15 minutes gone. We're going we're gonna to keep on going. <laughs> um, so yep, while Atua, while Tupuna, and while Tangata. So in terms of while Tangata, we looked at building practice um, building maramataka practice. 
And as a collective ropu, we committed to a whole year of tiro, of observations, of deep observations. So not just like how we tiro and walk around the streets and yep, there's a car coming, okay, don't go. Deep observations, which means actually positioning yourself in the environment and actually feeling the modi. Again, Pelika spoke to indigenous literacy, and this is exactly what it is, building the literacy of our people in space and time. So commitment to a full year of observation in the three different case study groups in whatever areas that were meaningful and relevant to the people in those spaces. So that's not what we said. We didn't make people go to spaces that they were not comfortable with. It was like, where do you work? You know, where is your... Where is your kainga? What do you do? If you are a Māra person, kei reira ki o tiro. Um, that's where you observe, and that's where we're going to build a depth of knowledge and understanding of those spaces. So it was, the instruction was very easy. Putaki waho, go outside, have a look. Whakarongo, deep observation, not just te tiro. This is only one sense. We've got heaps of other ones, so me ruku ki roto i o tai oro. Um, and pūmahara. So the other commitment that we asked is that every month, everyone come together as a, um, as a case study group and share what you've learned. So it's not just what I know, it's what we know now. And so we did this for a whole year with all of our whānau. And it was a pretty cool journey for all of us. Um, even, even our whānau who have spent years and years in the taiao found that taking time to actually intentionally pay attention um, was really valuable in their practice. So also the practice of doing, so um, not just talking about it, but actually getting out into the māra, um, and, and observing from a place of practice. Oh, I've kind of talked about this too. Understanding the maramataka from a place, from a practitioner's point of view. Um, and I think for our, our project it was really important because we don't have to all be puking out in everything. We just have to be puking out in one thing and then be... Um, able to share that, or be willing to share that with, with the group, with, with the whānau. And then our final kind of commitment was, sorry, <laughs> pūmahara. So at the end of each month around whiro, we would get together, we would share our observations, we would pull out key learnings, we would summarise, well, collect the data, um, summarise all the learnings, and then um, our amazing art director, <laughs> would pull it all together in something that is usable for the whānau. And so that is where we are going to go next, looking at how we then preserve this knowledge that was reclaimed through this practice. Sorry. <laughs> I spoke way too long. That's right. So um, just a disclaimer, this will probably be a 45-minute presentation. <laughs> so we're just starting the 30 minutes again. Okay, um, So yeah, I just want to acknowledge the person who let us use this photo, who is Yanni Ferens, who's sitting at the back with her beautiful daughter Star. Um, they are amazing kairuku moana fisher people, um, and they share so many beautiful photos with us. So why our presentations look so cool is because of our whānau who are out there doing things. Um, so I'm going to rip into it because I want my bro Gaston to have time in the green. Um, so we looked at the second phase was preservation, and I think um, the highlighted bits up there, tailored and fit for purpose, we created lots of different outputs, right? Outputs in the research world. We created reports, we created infographics, we created graphic summaries of the month of observations you can see over there. Um, and we were really lucky to be able to generate video resources for our whānau. Um, with the Bro Terere Kohu um, as lasting legacies past the project, so that our whānau are able to continue to reach back to those points of knowledge and continue to um, deepen their own understanding through their practice. 
So we created lots of different outputs, or what did I say? Forms of preservation. Then we thought, okay, oh no, sorry, I skipped ahead. This also, um, I want to mahi again to Yani. So Waiadia shared about the wānanga process that we went through with everybody in terms of um, diving into the mātou ranga tukuiho um, alongside real practitioners and practitioners of whenua and wai. And from those wānanga, Yani created these amazing dials. So she's illustrated these herself. Um, and these have been developed as a resource to be inside of the tūkura in the north, Ngātaki and Te Hapua, um, to nurture and grow this knowledge with our mokopuna, because where else should we start? So ngā mehi nui ki a koe e hoa. Um, so we've got all this cool stuff, but where do we put it? And I think one place, not the only place, but one of those places which speaks to the second kaupapa of Ngātohu is in Apataka Kōrero. And so we, this is looking at the preservation of our outputs and our kōrero inside of a digital format. And while I'm here, I want to mahi to Aaron Cole, who's the fella down the end there, very humble, very quiet, but he is the builder of the Pātaka Kōrero. So for all your IT needs, please see Aaron. All those guys. Um, so I think, I don't know if this is going to work because I was meant to be able to get on the internet, but, oh, it, no, okay, it didn't work. Anyway, we'll just use the slides. I had backups. So. This is a, a quick look into the Pātaka Kōrero. Um, and I think some of the key things that we tried to embed in this digital place was intuitive access. So we have lots of different ways that you can find your information if you look up the topic. That there's a keyword search, a location search, a date search, a genealogy search, and a concept search. So lots of different ways to find kōrero inside of the pātaka because I think we've all had an experience on Google where we put in a keyword and like 65 million things show up and you're like, okay, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help me. Another way that we can access and filter through the content that sits in this is by um, type. So you can see the one there that's got the words on presentation. So there's one presentation in our pātaka at the moment. Um, but you can kind of just click those buttons and it filters out. So if you're just looking for videos because you don't like reading reports, you can click the video button and it takes you to the videos. Um, and then, of course, you can use the search functions like typing in keywords to look through the content as well. Okay. <coughs> Go. Nope. 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 Yeah, yeah, okay. So just going a little bit deeper into the spatial search because I think with... Um, well, I suppose we all locate ourselves in landscape, whether that's using our pepeha um, or our whakapapa or all of the above. Um, and so um, one of the key points we wanted to uh, provide for was a spatial search. And so this just kind of steps you through the process. There's a dot on the map, you click it. It says, okay, that's tauranga moana. Filters all of the content that's tagged to tauranga moana, and then you can find what you're looking for. So kind of really intuitive ways of getting around. Pushing the wrong button. Um, inside of the Pataka, there is um, your, you, you have a, an account, I guess. You can have an account, which enables the next two kind of parts where you can start to gather bits of content that live in there and put them into collections that make sense to you. So um, this is just a couple of different examples. One there for the Asian paddle crab mahi going on in Tauranga Moana. Um, where you can kind of file them into different categories. And one over here that's from our Ngātohu Kaupapa, which allows you to order the content in um, a sequence. So if you're familiar with some of the names of the fetu in the Maramataka, um, you might recognise that these go in order of the time in the year. Um, and then, of course, the big thing when you're talking about online storage is safety and security. And so, of course, that was a huge kaupapa within the pātaka, he mana tō te kōrero. Um, we, had, we have the ability to have it public, to have it discoverable but not public, and to have it completely private to the owner of that content. And we have the ability to request access to stuff that's sitting in the pātaka if it is not yours. So you have to go to the source. 
to get access to the corridor that lives in there. And there's lots and lots and lots more to this. I am just literally giving you a taste. Um. Kia ora. Ko marotiri te maunga, ko hauene te awa, ko te whanau arua taupare ki toko maru te hapu, uh, ko Ngāti Parau te iwi, uh, ko pākirikiri te marae, ko te hono ki rarotonga te tipuna whare, ko te marae ātea ki rotu i te whare tipuna ko rua te pūpuke, ko hene mā te kotai te, te whare kai, uh, ko um, Karen pe whairangi taku ingoa. Um, uh, e mihi atu ana ki te kaupapa o te Sustainable Seas, uh, mō ngā pūte a tautoko i a mātou, te mahitahi i a manaki te awanui, mō ngā tau e toru, ki te rangahau i ngā kōrero mō te maramataka ki roto o tokomaru, ki roto i te tai rāwhiti. Uh, nō reira, kei te mihi atu anō ki te, uh, te kaupapa o ngā tohu i raro i te ngā whakahaere a manaki i te awanui. Kei te mihi atu kia koutou, Waiaria, Kelly, Kane, Rere Kohu, Koutou Mā, e arahi ana tēnei kaupapa, mō wai, mō nei tātou te iwi Māori, kia mahara tātou ki ngā mātauranga i tuku iho mai, mai ngā mātua tipuna nā reira e kore e waruware, i ngā mate o te wā, te rā o mātou kōkā a Evelyn Takurua Tamatea, a, he kōkā tino atawhai a mātou, he kōkā hōhau i te rongopai, kia mātou, nā tamariki me te whānau a rua taupare, anō reira haere rā nā mate o te wā. Hoki mai kia tātou, nā kanohi ora a rātou mā, tēnā tātou katoa. Uh, um, kare tō roingi tēnei kōrero, oi anō, ka tuku atu te wā, kia Waiaria, kia Kelly, kia Kane, te kōrero mō te kaupapa o ngā tohu, um, mō hiotunhu koutou i te karawhiu a tāwhiri mātea, i a awhiowhio, kia mātou, mō ngā tau e toru, e whā nai nei, um, ko pākarukaru ngā rori o, o te tai rāwhiti, ko pakaru ngā priti o manga haueni, o waiotu, o hiku wai, uh, ko waipuketea o mātou whenua, ko waipuketea hoki i ngā awa, me ngā moana o te tai rāwhiti, ko karawhiu ngā poro rākau me ki ngā slash, Tino kino nga ahuatanga o tawhiri mātea i a mātou. Uh, kare wareware te mihi ki uh, uh, te whānau nō no nga taki, um, te pārekareka o nga kōrero uh, tino waimari a mātou. Uh, uh, he mihi atu anō ki te whānau o um, nga, nga pāpaka a rangataua, a ki roto o tauranga moana e mehi atu ana ki a koutou. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, uh, tēnā koutou, ki ora tātou kato. E tohu, e tohu nō tau nō hine moana, ko raro ka maka he huna papa ka irimu irimu kuki me pe wapa ua. E tohu nō tāne, he tua kura nō rata te oro o tui. E tohu, e tohu nō rangi nō hina tama te akai ariki ko hine takurua te herenga o pipiri te tere aku ki tai. Kapai. So, just because I didn't get to speak before she started talking, that was Fai Karen, um, who we're very lucky and privileged to work with. And I suppose this comes to the point that we didn't just preserve in those outputs and on a digital format, format but actually our whānau are preserving their kōrero in tupuna formats, aka these kinds of waiata. And this, so Lara alluded to it earlier, this um, animation was done by Te Waiotu, who you saw in the previous video. 
Um, and this kōrero was written and sung by Kraudia Ratapu, who's one of our whānau down in the, down Togomaru, and um, Regan Fairley, Te Waotu's papa, put the video together. And so I think um, it's a really beautiful example that actually talks to the whole of Ngātohu um, as a kaupapa. I've got one slide left. <laughs> um, and I think... Pelika talked about it this morning, makahana ka ike, this also speaks to it, mā te, mōhio, uh, mā te mahi ka mōhio. It is in the doing that it is important. So another space that we've also worked in, preservation of knowledge and practice, is in practicing it. Um, and these, oh, you can read these, I'm gonna give the clicker over to the bro, don't worry about the numbers. Um, so that he can talk to you about how the mahi that our whānau, who are on stage here from Tauranga Moana, are preserving knowledge and growing and nurturing it in practice. Kabai. Oranga tau, oranga tangata. When the environment is well, the people are well. Dihe modi ora. Ko waio, moa me hiki rangi ngā maunga, tauranga te moana, waio te awa, ma tātua te waka, nai te rangi te iwi, taufao te hapu o tāwhiwhi te marae, ko Gaston Smith a hau, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kia ora koutou. I clearly remember a couple of summers ago, I went to pick some pippies, but they were all gone. Same with the tetiku and the horse muscles, all gone. Why I tell you this story, it's quite simple. We need to look after our taiao before the kaimon is gone. But what we also lost was our mana, our, our mana to be able to feed our manuhiri, our, our mana to be able to our mana, which we are renowned for providing a mean hākari feast for those that pass through. Ai tika, all gone. I'm one of the three kaimahi on the Tauranga Moana, Tauranga Moana Harbour. Um, the kaitiaki for the top part of there, up around the Otawhiwhi area. The second kaimahi is uh, the kazi, Jasmine Apapa, no pretty raka here. And the third, uh, Kai Mahi, the Kaitaki uh, Kazi Kane Kippa, no Ngai Tu Kairangi here. And so between the three of us, we cover the whole Tauranga Harbour, and more recently, we have extended our Mahi to helping out in the Ohiwa Harbour. Although with pretty limited resources. This mahi has enabled our respective hapu and iwi to be present in this awesome tile space, but also equally exciting for us to be able to develop and nurture our up and coming rangatahi to be kaitiaki warriors. Our point of difference here is that we are hapu driven. We've been doing this mahi for generations, but as kaupapa like this, that enable us to be more present and willing and to get the mahi done. We are currently dealing with Asian pāpaka, Asian crabs, which is an invasive species. We have two ways of trapping these pāpaka. One, we continuously trap around our own respective rohe and check those pots every day. And the second way is we, we blitz trap twice a year which means we sit and retrieve 180 pots over a week over the entire Tauranga Harbour. And the last and equally as important mahi is that we educate and outreach. This has been a huge outcome for the kaupapa. We are all strongly involved with our, with our kōhanga, our marae, our hāpuri, and our local skills. And so we educate those to be kaitiaki, and to communicate the importance of looking after our taiao. Ke te tika te kōre o tātou tūpuna, fa te ngaro ngaro te tangata, tūtunu ngā maunga hukirangi, me mauau, me te whare tūpuna o tama oho. People would disappear, but our mountains, hukirangi e mauau, 
and our sacred house, Tumble Hall, will stand forever. This means we ain't going anywhere. And so it makes good sense to fuck a mana, empower our iwi and hapu to carry out this mahi. No reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, kia ora tata katoa. Tu ake ki runga rapi te ki taua hei tamatu Tu me a ki te uru, we a ki te tonga Heke noku, heke rangi i arara Tangaroa hea tuaa 